The acquire step is often the one most new college students struggle with. In high school, you probably did much of your research using websites found with Google. It is fast and easy to use and great for finding basic information and news. Google is not usually the best tool for college research, however. While it provides access to millions of sources, it does not determine if they are accurate, trustworthy, or even the most relevant. You must sort through all the results and discover that yourself. Also, Google cannot access most of the high quality in-depth information. So where do you turn? Your professors expect you to use the Loris Library resources. Through the library, you will gain access to millions of resources, especially books and articles. Our research guides are a great place to go if you're not sure where to start. You can also access these sources through our databases, either the Do Search here on the library's homepage or one of our many other databases. We have a variety of database options. First, we have general databases, good for any topic like academic search and JSTOR. We also have some for special topics like psychology, business, criminal justice, or even specific kinds of materials like newspapers or art. The good news is once you know how to search one database, you know how to search them all because they all work basically the same. These are the essential things you need to keep in mind when searching a database. Enter only the keywords in the search box rather than your research question. Some experimentation is usually needed to find the best keywords. Finally, use the various limiting options to help you focus the results. So how do you develop keywords? Start with your research question and identify the main words in that question. As you can see in this example, those are children, polio, and epidemic. Next, you will want to brainstorm some synonyms and related terms that might work better than the initial ones you have identified. You should also look for the technical terms used by experts. In scholarly articles, these are likely to be used rather than popular terms. Likewise, consider broader and narrower terms. Finally, spell out abbreviations. Remember, it takes a little trial and error to develop the best search terms to get the results you need. Once you have some keywords to try, you can begin experimenting with different combinations.